Do not post your referral codes in the comments section below. Doing so will result in being blocked and reported. Thank you. Hi guys, Jbo785 uh, coming to you today with a little bit of information on the new trading system that's going to be released. Uh, I have some mixed feelings about this to be completely honest, to tell you the truth. So if you want to find that information, go ahead and click on the home tabs up at the center top of your Rage of Bahamut screen and just take a look at this. Um, unfortunately, it's not posted on Rage Trade Blogspot or Wiki uh, that I know of yet. So I'm going to just go ahead and be reading this off from my phone. So please just um, deal with me as I read this off. It states, Greetings. We will be releasing a new trade system soon with new features. Below is an explanation of the changes in trades and gifting with a, the new bizarre feature. Trades gifting. You can only trade or gift to fellows that you have added or order members that joined your order at least two weeks previously. Accounts that have not completed terminal registration will not be able to trade or gift. The maximum number of rubies that can be gifted at any one time has been changed to 10,000 rubies. Only normal to rare cards can be gifted. Bazaar new feature. You can exchange your desired cards or items in the bazaar. You will need a bazaar ticket to use the bazaar feature. When you send out a card item or when you receive them, the bazaar ticket will be used up. The maximum number of bazaar tickets you can hold at any one time is 5 tickets. Up to 5 bazaar tickets will be given each day together with the login bonus. If you hold less than five tickets at a time, you can use the bazaar tickets every day to display your cards or items for sale. Unregistered devices will not be given bazaar tickets during the login bonus. The number of bazaar tickets required for cards depends on the rarity of the cards. Even if the transaction is canceled, the tickets will be considered used. Below is the number of bazaar tickets required for the different rarity of cards. Normal card, one. High normal, one. Rare card, one. High rare card, two. S card, five. SS card 5. And that being said, guys, um, basically, accounts like mine, which farm beaters for my HP, and that's my, that's my main account. I only have one account, okay? So that 350 stamina I have, um, becomes pretty much fucking worthless. So that really pisses me off. In the same sense, um, it is a good deal because once enough of this crap is siphoned off, uh, Holy Wars is gonna get a lot more fair. And battle ranking systems is going to get a lot more fair. So it really sucks, especially for me because I traded my buddy some of um, my SR Evo cars that I weren't using, like my Lucy's, uh, or I'm sorry, that's actually the SSR car. So for him to trade that back to me, he can only do one card a day. And so that basically means that uh, he was farming HP2 off of his account, which he has 450 stamina just really ruins that for a lot of legitimate players. Uh, it does help take care of some of those um, extra farming accounts that people make a lot of times, but, um, you know, for me, how I also made a lot of my money was I would trade one HP for three cure water. So that's going to just really limit my ability to get those items. And I think that this is a ploy by Rage of Bahamut for them to make a lot more money. Because people are going to have to buy packs now a lot more than they used to. And are going to have to buy those coins to buy HP and to buy Cure Water before events compared to what they used to have to. So um, I think that's some bullshit. Now that I'm off my soapbox, let's continue to read this. Card items and rubies can be listed in Bazaar. Cards listed in Bazaar cannot be listed as your leader card safeguarded sold for rubies by tapping sell traded nor gifted. When a transaction is completed, the card will be transferred. User IDs will not be displayed for deals in the Bazaar search area. However, once the transaction is completed, it is possible to view the ID of the seller. All successful card transactions will be displayed in the Bazaar history. The completion date and contents of the trans transaction will be displayed. When requesting items, the number of items that can be requested will depend on the rarity of the cards. More information will be available in the guidance under About Bazaar after the Bazaar feature is released. Bazaar features might be notified, changed, or stopped without prior notice. We seek your understanding and support regarding this. Thank you for playing Rage of Bahamut, Rage of Bahamut Management Office. So guys, there you go. Coming to you with that information. Uh, just a couple other things. My next video, which was a great suggestion by one of my order members, is a frequently asked questions video. Um, unfortunately, this auction house or grand exchange or whatever you would call this bizarre feature um, really changes the core foundations of the game. So... A lot of my old videos, which still hold some decent information, a lot of it's going to change and shift. So I'm thinking about holding a um, 
frequently asked questions video where people could ask questions about the game, questions about me. Uh, a really common question that I get uh, is, what do you look like? I look like a Daniel Radcliffe if he was about 50 pounds heavier than he should be and if he really needed to shave. That's what I look like. So Harry Potter, that's a fat ass, okay? Um, you know, uh, other questions I get commonly in the game are, what's a suggestion that you can give me or a tip that you can give me that would really get me ahead of the game? And really, it's find a good order, play the game legitimately, don't buy card packs because they're a fucking rip-off, especially with updates like this. And, um, you know, I used to say, find the, farm those uh, high normal skill cards and really work on your stamina above everything else, which has honestly changed. Um, my viewpoint now is really work on your attack because that's what's going to get you through those holy wars and that's what's going to get you through uh, those events like Roar of the Dragons or Puppeteer Strikes Back. Um, and, of course, that's what's going to get you the best cards. So, um... That will be my next video that I'm going to be hosting is Frequently Asked Questions. I'm going to be writing down a lot of questions I get asked commonly. Another thing that uh, people have been uh, posting, which is honestly just to kind of get me riled up, um, it's kind of a joke, is that I always say use my referral code, RUM26800. You know, uh, and of course I tell people, don't post your referral code in the comment section below. And as I've stated previously, guys, um, it's because of this. I work hard on these videos. Um, I do a lot of, I spend a lot of time trying to find this information and edit this information, edit these videos for you. So, people using my referral code is a way of them giving back to me for this hard work that I do. And it keeps me motivated to continue to make these videos. And as my subscribers and my little fans know, they'll agree with me on that point. Um, so, people that get disappointed or angry about not being able to post a referral code in the comment section below, can honestly, um, you know, just go make your own damn videos, guys. Contribute to the Rage of Bahamut community. If you want to use your referral code, if you want to put that out there, don't spam people's videos, don't spam people's forms. Contribute something meaningful. And I've said that before and I'll say that again. If you want to get something out of it, you've got to put something in. That karma effect that you get what you put in. You reap what you sow. And I've posted a tutorial video on how to make your own videos like this. And I'm sorry that this one is basically the same damn screen over and over again. And how to post that on YouTube. So, guys, call me a hypocrite if you want, but I'm not. You know, this is what I do. This is my work, and I believe that I deserve a reward for that. So I hope that you understand. And people that continue to comment that I'm a hypocrite, you know what? I got a lot of people that are going to back me on this, so I don't see many people backing you. You know, believe what you want. I disagree with you, though. So guys, um, next video that I'm going to post up, frequently asked questions. I hope that we'll have a lot of fun with that. Um, this bizarre system one that's released, I'll be sure to go ahead and gift out those uh, gifts to you people that have won. Um, you know, continue to participate. It might just take a couple days longer than you expect, guys. Um, again, my final view and summary of this video is I really think that this system sucks. I really think that it should be less restricted and gradually kind of strangled down as time goes on, because there are people that have lent, you know, um, their really rare cards to friends and family members and so on and so forth, and that's really kind of what made this trading card game fun, and um, I think that's kind of ridiculous. It should have been one of those things that people, um, loyal players should have been given more warning, uh, it should have been gradually tampered down, you know, I'd say 20 cards a day, 10 cards a day, to this 5 cards a day. I think that if you have to buy those trade tickets, that's just pure dickery, which I've commented quite a bit on that. So guys, I know that this video is getting kind of long, and again, if you have an extra device laying around, or if you're a new player planning on joining, please use my full code RUM26800. If you have any questions or concerns below, please post them in the comment section below, excuse me, and I'll do my best to answer those um, as uh, soon as possible. If uh, you're looking for a good order, please join our order, House of Gods. Um, there, unfortunately, is an 8 HP fee for that, which I wonder how the hell we're going to do with that with the new Bazaar system set up. But we use that HP for events like Holy War or uh, for events like uh, Roar of the Dragons and Puppeteer Strikes Back and for also wall busting and defense destroying. So, guys, I hope that this video has helped you out. I hope that this brings you some more info and some more uh, light to this situation. Be sure to do your own research. Don't take everything I say um, you know, just for granted. Be sure to take everything I say with a little bit of grain of salt because things do constantly 
change, and every once in a while, I am wrong, and I do my best to correct that and let you guys know as soon as possible. So, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, look forward to seeing you on my next video. Y'all take care. Have a fun night. This is JBO75 signing off.